hill forts. Within the British landscape exists a common ancient monument consisting of large earthen banks and deep ditches known as hill forts. Many are found to have been built on high topographical defensive locations and some look extremely impressive with multiple enclosures constructed using earth, timber or stone. But there are numerous examples of these Iron Age monuments built on lowland areas, offering little defence, and archaeological evidence from the inside of hillforts suggests that their use and function was more complex than their name implies. During the early 20th century, excavations conducted were mainly concerned with the earthworks of hillforts, as it was assumed that the monuments were built for military purposes against invasion. Some evidence supports this assumption with the discovery of stone and clay projectiles, the destruction of entranceways and skeletons with signs of trauma resulting from combat at sites such as Maiden Castle in Dorset. In the later part of the 20th century, post-processual archaeologists became more focused on examining the interior, with sites such as Danebury in Hampshire and Cadbury Castle in Somerset producing a wealth of information. The archaeological record shows that these ancient monuments were not exclusively military and varied in use with some only occupied seasonally. Numerous enclosures were constructed along or near ancient trackways and incorporated Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments such as barrows and linear boundaries. Some sites had structures such as roundhouses, possible shrines and storage huts randomly distributed within the enclosure while others had well planned out streets. The accumulation of livestock, salt and grain is evident at most sites, with large grain pits dug in Shortland areas. Many enclosures have little evidence of warfare, but rather farming and the skilled production of wood, cloth, metal and ceramics, with different regional designs. A puzzlement for archaeologists has been the lack of water and how it was obtained, especially in high locations, suggesting that existing features such as dew ponds are possibly older than previously thought. Archaeologists had interpreted these sites as high status structures and centres of powerful tribes which acted as deterrents from large scale enemy attack, but more recent interpretations suggest that they offered people and livestock refuge from the threat of casual raids and their primary function were as places of assembly, settlement and trade, positioned along existing trading routes and territorial boundaries where food and commodities were accumulated, sold and distributed to their surrounding area. The term hill fort has therefore become problematic and seen as misleading but remains as a catch-all title for these monuments within academia due to the lack of agreement on new suggested names. Thank you for watching this short video by Simple Archaeology. Please subscribe for future archaeological topics.